uh, just a kind of an everyday event that occurred recently was uh, I had taken my laundry down to the laundry room on the floor of our apartment building, and uh, the washers were or the dryer. I guess I was ready to put my clothes in the dryer, and the dryer was full. It had stopped, and our operating procedure is if no one's there, you carefully take their things out and, and put them aside for them to get them when they come back and put yours in, which I did. And uh, a little bit later I went back and to check on my clothes and the woman obviously whose clothes had been, I had taken out, came into the room and she was quite elderly and was a grumpy person. I mean, she always had a, a, a unhappy look on her face and hard for her to get around. She was in a uh, walker with a seat. And she looked at her clothes and she said, Who put that nasty pillow on top of my clothes? That's not my pillow. Who put it there? And I said, well, I put it there. It was in the dryer with your clothes, and so I assumed it was yours, and I took it out and put it with your clothes. Well, it wasn't in the dryer. It's not my pillow. And who put it there? If it was you, you shouldn't have done it. And my first reaction was, you know. <laughs> I think I'd just done a weekend, maybe of ABP anyway. <laughs> I, and I said, well, I'm really sorry that you know, I did what you didn't want me to do, but it was in the dryer, and I did take it out because I thought it was yours, and I put it there, and um, I'm sorry you're unhappy about it. And so she said about getting her clothes taken care of, and gave her to leave, and she was having a hard time, she was a walker, um, with a seated walker, and I uh, offered to help her reach. No, no, she had some other, uh, a second one. Here. No, she didn't want to help. So she went about getting her clothes out, I went about getting my clothes taken care of, and there was no more conversation. And she turned and went out, got her basket on her lap, and so on. And at the door, she stopped. And she turned around and she said, Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the aftermath of that story is that um, she never even begun to give me a smile or any acknowledgement when we met in the hall. Or, and uh, that changed to uh, mm -hmm. a pleasant, nothing spectacular, but a pleasant uh, face and perhaps a hello from the past. Mm -hmm.